hi guys and welcome to C sharp tutorial of a piano so let me show you guys how this works yeah. so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take you guys straight into C sharp development environment and we put some things together so let's do that now guys hi and welcome to C sharp tutorial of a piano system I'm gonna start by clicking on let's create a new project so we're using visual visual studio 2019 so i need c sharp so what i need is the the one with window form application so let's come right down here you can always type it in here if you want or you just scroll down let's just say windows form app so let's look for that and there we go guys so the one that I want is right here, Window Form, Windows Form App, okay, .NET Framework, okay, project for creating an application with a Windows Form App, WinForm. So I'm going to select that and then click on Next. There. So let's give that a name. Just call this C S, which stands for C Sharp piano there and I'm going to click on create right there guys my form is ready I'm just going to drag the form that much and maybe we adjust this but before I go any further I'm going to first of all go straight to my project here click on project and right underneath here, as the name of my project, I'm going to click on it and I intend to import some resources straight in there. Click on this, click on resources, and the resources that I want, I should be able to locate it right up here. You see where we have string, drop that down, and let's select audio. The audio files that I need, I'm going to say add existing files. And I, I'm now going to navigate to where these files are. So let's go down somewhere on my system here. I think I may have it on the desktop. And maybe in here, let's look for something to do with music. There we go, music notes. There, I'm just going to select it all. Okay, and just click on open. There we go. Now I have my audio files in place. I will now go back to my form, but first and hopefully there should be a resource folder in there. If you go to your solution explorer, you should be able to see a resource folder created for you. So let's go back to our form. That's the form. So the next thing is go to the toolbox and I'm going to add some buttons. Yeah, of about that. That would be my very first button now I'm going to enhance the look of that very button and let's come right here you see the text area I'm going to change that to make that bold and I'm going to make it about 14 I think that's fine that's good enough and uh, let's see the text area as well okay I'm going to make it bold italic here yeah now the next thing i'm going to do is you see here where we have the text that would be c note c and where i have text align i'm going to say align to the bottom okay that's good enough for me so up here i'm going to give it a name btn music note c so let's use music note C there so that's my very first one so I can even copy that now click hold on to your control click and drag that is two I need about 11 down here okay so we need three more there we go those are all my music notes 
now the next one is going to be music notes D yeah. and follow by me changing the text content in there to letter D this one is going to be let's pin this thing down music note E and the name will become BTN music note E okay followed by F music note F now that I believe you guys know how to change that so I'm just gonna speed this up and get back to you guys shortly okay I've finished the development of the notes down here I think someone called this one's minor notes something like that so now I'm gonna create the other one also the other one is called a uh, major so I'm gonna just hold on to the control click and drag so please do not make fun of me because I don't know the difference I'm not an expert in music so I'm gonna do that let's just come in here copy this one control C yeah that's fine and I'm gonna reduce that to about that and I'll change the back color of that to let's change that to black black color make that black and the font color I'm gonna make that white oh no yeah okay, okay that's fine that's fine just select anything right all right so here we will have something here that's supposed to be the C sharp minor I think and do that and copy it again no that is major not minor so I'm gonna copy those control and copy right I'm gonna copy again Control copy and drag. Right, that's that's good enough. And I'm going to copy one more. Bring that here. There. So let's change the the various names. So this one is going to be C sharp. I think this is if I'm right D sharp major. F sharp F sharp major and so on guys so let's just finish them in it and I'll get back to you guys okay now that all of that is done the next thing is I'm now going to double click on my C minor here double click on that and in here I uh, will add a line of code that we call the C music before but before I do that I'm gonna have to import a library here it's called using system dot dot media there we go that's it right there double click on it yeah so that is taken care of so the next thing I want to do now is let me go to my C button here that is it BTN music notes C so right in here the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create call this very object and let's create a new object here I'm going to call it sound play SP equals new sound play there we go now this new sound play that I intend to use I don't know the location okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to where I save all my music notes remember I copied it and it's right in here and now we need to know the part so for us to be able to get to where this music note are we need the we need each note we need their location so I'm going to right click on this resource folder okay let's go back in there right click on the resource folder and click on open folder in the file explorer so right there 
there we go and the very first one I'm talking of is right here C okay C minor so select C minor hold on to your shift key right click and let's select copy part there I've copied the part okay you can minimize it or you can close it and repeat the same process now come right in here enter a quote and paste right there so right at the end here we need to enter semicolon there okay now you see I have an error so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here I'm going to enter art there okay you see all the error is gone okay art all right that is the part for that very one so the next thing I want to do now is now I'm now going to ask these objects to play let's see if we can break this thing into well, let's just see okay that's fine you guys should be able to see it now so I'm going to come right down here and I'll just say sp dot play that's what I want you to do there we go enter semicolon in there so I'm going to try this out this is for the C notes so let's click on play there we go it's ready so none of these are doing anything because there's no coding on them so I'm going to click on the C oh we have an error and what might that be okay okay the error message is telling me be sure that it sound file exists at that very location so what I'm going to do is you see I seems to have a space in here so I'm going to close that space and let's close this and let's start the system from running and give it a try one more time okay there we go now I'm going to try it again there we go guys you hear that there's nothing here so that very little space that you guys saw caused that very pro problem so I'm going to copy this copy that let's go to the next button this one double click on it since I now have the address and the name of the very next one is D now I think it's uppercase D yeah uppercase D oh undo I think I have it in the wrong place there we should be right here in here you see paste and change that to uppercase D right run it and let's see there we go yeah, that's fine it's working the way we want now so I'm gonna go to the next one E double click on E and just paste that in there change that to E and the next one is going to be F and we repeat exactly the same thing paste change that to F followed by the next one here that's G change that to G that's A I'm able to know the name of various music node because as you can see on my folder here that is how I've named every single note so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these notes to the description area for you guys okay so just in case if you need the notes so double click on it or you can just search for your own node there that's B I'm now going to speed that up now that you guys get the whole idea this C1 yep the next one here is D1 we're doing very fast with this D1 E1 paste change that to E1 F1 and right here C sharp C sharp major you see the C sharp major let me show you guys the name the C sharp I call that C underscore lowercase s okay 
so if you guys are going to be using this my music notes be careful don't make that mistake so I'm gonna hold on to my shift key and just copy let's copy the part again coming here so I'm gonna paste that paste the parts let's paste it inside and call the braces for now enter this in there I'm gonna copy all of this paste it right here and copy my object that I created and just paste that, paste that in here okay that takes care of that so I'm gonna copy this and use it for the next one the next one is D sharp so now change this one to D there there should be a semicolon here okay I believe you guys get the whole idea so let's just kind of like speed up the whole process we're very fast with this now there next one G let's copy this G this one G and double B let's check we, we need a name we need to know the name C sharp one okay underscore underscore lowercase one then the next one is going to be D sharp one there we go change this to D and that's all the rest of it okay look at that that's how you create your own music notes so I'm going to run my program now And let's run it and see. That's fine. That's very good. so with that I'm gonna call it the end of this C sharp piano tutorial and I'll see you guys shortly bye for now